against the Iron Storm. I'm Dread Canary. The game is against the storm, and we are continuing our quest to beat every difficulty twice from the tutorial all the way up to Prestige 20 without ever dropping a game. This is our sixth attempt at this run, and we are about to go to Prestige 4. Now we've got Fergus, we've got Quantin, and I believe our goal was to continue harassing the... <laughs> Vanguard of the Stolen Key, so we can continue our lead. Now, I don't really feel like playing with Mana Crystals. Those could be game-ending. Uh, and I'm just going to bully these guys. So let's go ahead and go here. We'll call it Bully for me. Now we'll just call it Bully Form. And let's take a look. We're going to get this, because it's a bigger group. And of course, this is Coral Forest, which means there's meat in the trees. Always a nice thing to have, meat in your trees. We're going to go ahead and take some bricks, just so we can make our lizard housing a little bit sooner. And we are also going to take meat. Chat says there wasn't anything in the update notes about sound, uh, but they did tweak, so maybe your sound issue will be solved. I hope so. Uh, in case you're a first-time viewer, I've been having sound issues where there's been stuttering and pausing in the game. Um, there's a couple of possible solutions. I played a test game earlier today after the patch, and I didn't notice any issues. So I'm wondering if maybe my computer is just uh, a little bit overloaded when I'm also streaming. But we'll see. So, of course, crickets. So opening a glade during drizzle gives us food. That's nice. Travel cost of trade routes during storm goes up. That's not too bad. Housing or people get really sad. That's not too bad. Uh, we use more fuel, and then of course if it gets to Hostility 7, villagers will just end up dying. And that is of course on top of all of the other modifiers. So, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to set ourselves to times 3 speed. We're going to immediately pause, and what we want to do is drop some woodcutting camps. So, we're going to go that way, and we're going to go this way. By default, I've told the villagers to not open any glades, so I will have to specifically mark glades for it to be an issue. I'm going to set ourselves up with a nice 6x3 spot in here to make some basic buildings. And we are also going to get some shelters down. Now, of course, I will need four shelters. because every shelter houses three people. <laughs> Chat says, hey, I actually realized it's Thursday. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad you made it here. I almost didn't bother tweeting about it, uh, but I was like, you know what? It doesn't take that long, so I probably should. Just to let people know I exist. All right. So we're running around, we're building the town, we're building some camps. We're going to build ourselves a nice, starting, comforting tower. And if you're asking about the lack of face, I just didn't feel like it today. Uh, let's see here. Game 30, meet when a villager dies or leaves. I don't want my villagers to die or leave, so no. 10 Amber when a villager dies or leaves. Same problem. So we'll get meat specialization. And the great thing is, this will build up off of the trees themselves. Since some of these trees have a chance at meat. Don't see my Twitter anyway. That's right. Uh, you, you did tell me that there had been an update to Twitter that you could no, long, no longer lurk. You silly, silly person. Okay. Uh, we can cut through to discover two glades to get bonus stone and clay, which is really nice for production, but five building materials to get bonus planks whenever we plank. That scales very nicely. You know, packs to get bonus cloth whenever we cloth also scales very nicely. Make a trifecta? No, but if we can complete three glades events in 17 minutes, that's about a year and a half, then we can get a weaver. The weaver's not good enough for me to risk this. This is a very hard thing to do, because I, I have to have the stuff. Let's go ahead and do the uh, Dangerous Glade events here. It gives us coal, which is very nice. And now that we know our orders, let's take a look. 
So Carpenter is actually very good on this map because you can get crystallized dew straight out of the trees. Skewers and biscuits are a good way for me to feed my people, though. I'm taking a carpenter. And then... Okay. This is a tough choice because provisions can be amazing. Flour is good. We know we need packs of building materials, so the rain mill plus flour plus efficient flour can be really nice. The plantation is a solid building. And of course the trapper's camp is a good way to get food. I'm gonna take the provisioner. So we've got a carpenter and a provisioner. And I think that with the lizards, it makes sense. Well, the crystallized dew is not that great, but I'm definitely gonna need the bricks. We'll take the brickyard. And in fact, we're gonna put the brickyard here. Put the provisioner here. And I'm feeling very weird. So we're gonna do, we're gonna move this here and we're gonna put the carpenter on that side. And that's that means that we're gonna need to put our blight post straight across from it. Now what I wanna do, of course, is actually make this first. We have the planks, we don't have the fabric, okay. Then we wanna make this second this third, and then finally this. And we will, of course, need a crude workstation, which will make fabric. Pardon me. <coughs> Not sure what that was, but it'll be okay. Plantation and cross fingers for a ranch? No. I like the ranch, but like there's no... I don't, I don't like taking a plantation until I know I've got something I can do with it, and berries when I only have lizards doesn't seem worth. I think we'll be okay. I really like my building materials because building materials makes it easier to make other buildings later and they're used in a number of glade events. They're used to rebuild anything that you find in the forest. Uh, I just really like having building materials locked down. Hope y'all are having a good day. My day was kind of stressful. I spent the whole day trying to uh, get in touch with bus companies to rent buses for an event that I'm working on. A number of places that I contacted had already been sold out or just didn't have enough buses for our size. And the ones that do have bigger ones require an email, so I'll have to wait to hear back. But you know what? Every time you do something new, you learn how to do something new. And that's just kind of how life is. Yeah, we only need fabric. So I'm just going to stick one lizard in here for now. seen any problems yet. That's pretty good. Now, I do want to bring this closer over because well, we'll definitely be able to open this one. Oh, look! There's uh, farmland right there poking out from between the trees. That's good to know. And we only have lizards, so there's not really much of a chance of them being sad. So by delivering that, we're going to be able to make this. Now, 
we'll have a lizard in there, starting to make planks. And we are going to open up this glade. Who do we have? Beavers! Sure, we'll just take some beavers. We'll just take some beavers immediately. Mm, slow harvesting and planting, but double, double wood. You know, I think I like double wood. And I would normally pull here with no sound issues. Exactly, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, now what we want to do here is just finish clearing this out. And we absolutely want a trapper's camp. Plus a stonecutter's camp. Before we do any of that, we want to deal with this. And we have to deal with this with oil because we do not have any of these things. Next set of orders. Let's see. Deliver wine and half pottery. Coal and more building materials, or two dangerous glades in nine minutes. Nope. We're doing this. Nice that it gives you incense and sea marrow for the next glade. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think that's great. Um, empathy. What is this? That's a nothing. Okay. Happy Lizards and Three Glades. But this is plus two per year, so we're going with this. Because I don't like locking in that I'm going to have a ton of people. Okay, so we're going to move these guys over here. And we don't quite want to get into the glade, but we do want to push forward toward it. Meanwhile, we don't have the food to get this. But we do have the food to get money, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and get money. leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not, not great. is. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't count because I don't get to keep it. Alright, now I think people are going to be very unhappy with me immediately. But there's 
no reason to take them out of wood cutting until they actually hit red. So we're going to leave them there for now. And we are going to start making bricks. Do not make crystallized dew and definitely don't make pottery. But do make bricks because we will need them. Uh, now, of course, we're going to raise this to 100. We're going to raise this to 100. Let's go ahead and favor the beavers. Lizards take so long to lose happiness that we should be fine. Well, whatever they did with that update seems to have fixed it. So I'm pretty happy about that. More grain when we grain. Traders will have more cornerstones. And 20 amber for ale. Well, I don't have a way to do any of these, so let's go ahead and take the... Ooh, I don't like these. I'm going to take the grain bags and I'm going to hope for a farm. We're also going to make a trading post. Okay, our third race is foxes. I love that. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to swap this out for a fox because foxes lower hostility from opening glades. And that ends up being very, very nice. We're going to throw two lizards up here. We're going to replace this lizard with a beaver. And we have some people who don't have houses now. Not that I can deal with that just yet. Okay. Well, we can do this with fabric and stormwater, or we can do it with... Ooh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. That's so bad. Hmm. Okay. Maybe do this with clearance water? Maybe. Now what's my preferred outcome? Oh, you can turn it into a... What? Clearance water. Huh. But we would need pipes, tools, well we need 30 of some container. Let's see what this trader has. have containers. Okay. So if I want, say, 30 pottery and two tools... No. 30 pottery and... Well, I mean, the parts sound really nice. Well, okay, first off, I've got to get this because I took that grain thing and we've got farmland. So we're going to take that and just lock it down. Um, but then the question is, if we're going to do this one, is this already up? It will be shortly. Okay. So we don't actually need you, I don't think. Packs of building materials, crops, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're, I think we're good. start getting water. And I think what I need to do is actually put two guys in here and tell them, hey, start doing this immediately. 
because they have to bring over the fabric. So we're not going to have it in time. But we might have enough clearance water. Maybe. This is going to be close. Um, discover two dangerous glades within... Well, what? No. No, I'm definitely not doing this. The new fuming machinery with two options. Yeah, everything's got two options now, and I, I don't love this one, but that's okay. Free forum is so good, but I have to have ale and scrolls, whereas this one, I need trade goods, and trade goods are much easier to get. Okay, you know what? You can be a... You can be a lizard. You can be a fox. You can be a lizard. You can be a fox. You can be a lizard. And why we're doing that is because um, it'll take them less time to work it. Now, we're going to have a problem that we don't have enough water. Uh, I don't know that we're going to have enough water within the next minute. This might be a real problem. Okay. If it explodes, what's the radius? Okay, that's not terrible. Okay. We tried to do it. We couldn't do it. Everybody out of the pool. Uh, let's go ahead and build a small farm. We want to run a road up to our small farm. Like so. And this can be a fox. And this can be a lizard. explode. And uh, when it explodes, it's going to open up this small glade, but it should be fine. And uh, I don't have enough housing. Right. Okay. this guy. Unfavor the beavers. Move this shelter. And for housing, let's go ahead and start with a fox house. Should be low enough that this works. And there's a coal mine. Like that's that's not terrible. I think we're okay. Foxes are happy now, that's good. I should probably figure out who I want. 
working my farm. I guess it's gonna be lizards. I guess it has to be lizards, and it's going to all be grain because we need packs of crops and then we need flour, so just grain. Okay, so now what we want to do Populate that with beavers Hmm, mm-hmm Absolutely, I want to lower hostility by upgrading my hearth because I love upgrading my hearth Upgrading my hearth is one of my favorite things. We will take as many beavers as we can Let's throw two foxes in the stone cutting camp. I think it's time for us to start gathering food in earnest. Okay, so we don't lose the geyser and we don't lose the farmland. All that did was open up a small glade for us, so uh, I'm, I'm really not mad about it. That's fine. Stop the burn. Thank you. Um, burn stopped on its own because I ran out of fuel. Okay, now I had a sound issue. But the gameplay isn't stuttering, and that's the main thing. We've got one bonus meat every time we meet, so that's good. Food's coming in. I think I want to delete this, and we are going to drop a second fox house. I, I like the, the new fox houses. I think they look cool. Um, I like the way they form squares, if you want them to form squares. Hi, Sahilda. What do you have? Oh, man, that's what I said. Hi! Um, let's see. Can we get 34? I doubt it. What do I want more? I think I want this more. So let's say I just want 617. Yes. Faster villagers is good economically, so that's what we're doing. all of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to start making actual good housing. I think I might actually have to open up this glade just to check to see if there's enough for a mine there. I don't know if there's enough for a mine. Uh, we definitely want beaver housing. And some lizard housing. Order? Burn cysts, yes. Late events are good, but burning cysts is so absolutely gonna happen that I might as well take it. Queen's pretty mad. Queen is pretty mad. We need to be looking at getting a makeshift post down. find any dangerous glades this time, but that's okay. Small Traverse Camp is out of meat, but we found more meat over here that you can absolutely get, and we can make a mine right here. 
Seems pretty nice. Let's do that. I'm gonna run this road this way. And everybody is sad, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. And get rid of this. That's going. That's going. Food doesn't seem to be an issue right now. Our only unhappy people are lizards. You can see the gap, but that small glade didn't open. Yeah, exactly. Um, this game technically operates on squares. And we didn't open the square. Good news is, everybody else is happy enough I can do that. And that's fine. Free mushrooms, yes. Free mushrooms when we grain, and we've got a farm that's only doing grain. Absolutely, that makes sense to do. Let's come this side and try to get these from the other direction. Boxes are king. And what we want to do now is we want to go here. Uh, we need 5, 9, 19, 19. Packs of building materials. We need 3 packs of crops. And then over here, Three packs of provisions. This should be a beaver. This should be a beaver. good on that value of, of goods sold. We don't have much in the way of coal at the moment, but when this gets built, we'll be fine. That said, I do need parts. I don't have anything to let me open that. Not that it'll get me parts anyway. Oh, we got two trade routes we can do. That's good to know. Let's do that. Get just a little bit of money. And yeah. Okay. Okay, that's that's fine. Now we're gonna move this, um, I think here. What I want to do is run a road around this side. And we are going to move our comforting tower. Mm, not there. We're going to move it there. Moving decorations for free is great. I love that. There we go. Uh, we are going to pop this back just a little bit. We're going to delete this. Okay. So now I should have no shelters. And it's just a question of where is everybody. So what I want to do is I'm going to do another pair of fox houses. Which I know is a little bit inefficient because I don't actually have eight foxes yet. 
uh, but I like the look, and so that's what we're doing. We'll do a beaver over here. And then... A pile of lizard houses. And is that too many? Yes. That is way more housing than we need for this area. But you know what? I like it, so I'm doing it. I'm willing to sell some stone, sure. Okay, our foragers camp is out, which is great. I can delete those. I can actually delete it and get my parts back. And we can stick two lizards in the harvester's camp, which is pretty nice. Now, eventually, I'm going to want this to be beavers, but for right now... For right now, not so much. We do need fabric, so let's go ahead and throw two lizards in there. Trade routes, we can sell coal, we can sell tools, we can sell insects, we can sell... Packs of building materials. Let's sell a pack of building materials, just to raise our standing. Okay, let's do this first, and now we want to lower this by five. Sure, we can get a forester's hut. That could be really good. Um, but we could also get a cookhouse. Do, what do I have for food currently? Small farm production. Okay. So, lizards and foxes eat skewers. Beavers eat biscuits. This is my best option for food. So that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> I like it, so I'm doing it justification for just about anything. It's true, yeah, but I mean, I'm the one playing the game, um, so I don't feel like I need to justify myself to anybody but me. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. How much housing do we have? So much. We've got so much housing. And I can absolutely upgrade my town at this point. Fuel is okay as long as we're using wood. Old Farloff, hi! Okay, yeah, let's get wood cutting speed. That's always a welcome thing. Uh, parts are very good. I don't really have another way of getting parts. Now, if I were to sell you, say all of my, well, I don't, I need crystallized dew for fox housing. I'm fine on fox housing. I think we're okay there. If I sell you that, and then I sell you this, and you know what, I sell you these two because I think I can get more of them. And then 28 of these. And like just a little bit. And now, for one thing, I get my parts back. Um, trade routes. Sure. Cool. We need packs of trade goods, we need packs of provisions, packs of building materials. So, let's go ahead and meet. We'll throw one in there. Sounds good. And I want to... You know what? 
Let's take you out, because I want to put three beavers in here. I would normally want to fill this, but I don't think I can yet. We're going to upgrade it so we instantly have more coal coming in. Stonecutter's camp is out of stone. Isn't that interesting? We're just going to move you here and fire you. Okay, let's go here. Do that. And now the only packs that we need are the 10 building materials. So, uh, we are going to raise this to 10 just so I can do trading. Uh, we are going to turn off packs of crops because we don't need them anymore. And we are going to do this first and then do this. Just as, as much as you want up to 500. Uh, and let's make this a pair of foxes. Okay, now we've got a ranch. And now I think a ranch makes a lot of sense. Uh, because now, right, I've got grain coming in. And you can power a ranch completely off of grain. Uh, we're going to come over here. We're going to say that we only make fabric out of leather from now on. Because we're going to use the other two to make leather. decorations. Now that I'm thinking about it, we need a bunch of decorations. I'm feeling flower beds. We're just going to put a big row of flower beds right there. Four, eight, perfect. That's all the flower beds I could possibly want. Last order will be clothe the beavers 50 times and have 30 oil, or get this much rainwater, or produce a bunch of wood and 20 packs to get a free forum. Ooh. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Uh, we are going to raise this to 20. Wait, was the order produce? Deliver. Good. Okay. Now what that means is I'm going to need another woodcutter's camp. Packs of building materials. Uh, we no longer need packs of burning mater building materials at all, so not only can I do that, but I can also delete this building. Beavers want to leave. That's a bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and fire these. Those were already empty. Where's my other one? This one. Okay, that helps. That helps. That should be good. Uh, we are going to go ahead and staff a beeper in here. And let's build another woodcutting camp because I am losing out on the during the storm chopping time for this produce 250 wood order. Um, let's go ahead and stick two lizards in the ranch. They can 
start making food for us. Okay. Great. Stop the burn. We're out of coal. And what we need to do now... Is put the whole town grab that twice so that's gonna lower hostility of the forest that should be pretty good um, I did say the whole town didn't I this many people. Did I accidentally take something that gave me more people? This is ridiculous. Um, we'll take this. Lizard resolve is low. Yeah. Can't imagine why. Um, let's see. Where can I put another hearth? Fortunately, there is a big empty field right here. Okay, what if I move that there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can do a road this yes uh, and then I can do something like that so that's six beaver houses or that's no that's five it's <laughs> way too many beaver houses we don't need that many beaver houses or not that many lizard houses uh, we do want to go ahead and do this, I think. Yeah, and then we're going to do another small farm there, that way. Okay. Okay. Turn in this order. The queen off our back. Now the forum gives education and leisure. So the temple gives us religion and the explorers give us brawling. Only lizards like religion. Both lizards and foxes like brawling. Um, herbalist camp is also tempting. We're going to go with the explorer's lodge. Trade routes. Go ahead and throw a lizard here. The lizards are unhappy solely because of the hostility of the forest. But they're about to get a lot happier because we're about to build them so much housing. So much housing. All of the housing forever. Okay, now this needs a service building, some more comforting towers. Well... I love that. Put a service building there. And then, you know, I do need some harmony buildings anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do a comforting tower over here. And you know what? We'll just do two of them right next to each other. And do another one of these lizard post fire shrine jobbies. And that'll get that all the way. From the update notes, change the way newcomer scaling works. Previously, the number of new villagers was based on the population of a settlement. 
Now the numbers are based statistically on the number of years past. The change was introduced to allow players to recover more quickly after a negative chain of events wipes out a significant portion of the villagers. Yeah. Oh my god. Newcomers are definitely, definitely scaling up. I'm so glad I didn't take the, uh, the thing that would have made more villagers show up every year. Meanwhile, how are we doing? We've got six minutes left. We've... We are knocking this out of the park. Trade routes. Sure. I have the pipes. I can also do this with tools. Let's do this with tools. That seems cheapest. So now we have 450 coal, so we shouldn't run out of coal anytime soon. We'll go ahead and queue up a geyser. up another one just in case we have extra in the beaver house Lizards would be our farmers previously, but this time we're going to do foxes. Uh, reeds, yes, absolutely. Oh no, additional cysts formed. What are you going to do? We finally opened this glade. It's a bit late, but what can we do about it? Forced aware of your every move. Spawned one blade rot cyst every 120 seconds for every dangerous glade discovered. So three blade rot cysts every two minutes while we're working on it. So six blight rod cysts? That's not too bad. Or use purging, fire, and reeds. Let's do this. The queen's kind of mad at us. We are going to cleanse that. And what do you know? Our ravenous axes paid off. Giving us a free forum building. Not much that's better than free. We'll go ahead and throw lizard posts here. Harvester's camp is out. There's so much more plants and plant matter to harvest. Okay, so I've already got skewers from the cookhouse that I'm not making, but I've got them, and that's the point. Uh, ooh, okay. We've already got tools in the carpenter, so that would, the tool shop would just give us better pipes. Uh, rain mill, kind of useless. The distillery, though, the distillery is great. are happy. We can sell planks, so we'll sell planks. Where are all our planks going? I mean, I guess I do have like a million buildings queued up. Hey, how you doing, Renwald? Clan Hall. I don't think I need the Clan Hall. Faster movement on roads is good. Free wine when we ale. I don't think we need this. Packs of trade goods, burn blight rot cysts. I don't think we need any of that. 
pipes might be a good idea. We've got decent food. Yeah, what if I just bought pipes? Every time we meet, we're gaining plus five, so uh, we can turn eight grand into 15 meat. Talk about multipliers, that's ridiculous. Go ahead and do this. You can be a beaver. You two can be beavers. You're like, why do you still have this many people on woodcutting if you don't need them anymore? Well, I've got a pile of people. I might as well use a pile of people. I'm not sure where else I would put the pile of people. Like, I guess I can throw some in this crude workstation. Well, first off, let's fill this. And what we want to do is we want to say use meat. And you know what? Veggies. Which, what we're going to do, this is going to just be veggies. So we'll use meat and veggies. And then we're going to use flour and, you know, whatever we can to make biscuits. Do not make pigment. Uh, for skewers, I'm going to say 100. For biscuits, I'm going to say 50. Do you have anything I can stick in biscuits? No, but you do have biscuits themselves. Hmm. I could buy biscuits. I don't feel the need to. Right. Might as well throw another lizard in there. Trade rounds. Oh, you're you're willing to buy meat? Yes, I will absolutely sell you meat. You know what, let's bring this over this way. And what I want to do is clear out more farmland. Clearing out farmland seems like a good idea. Mm, okay, that's still going. this area. And I think... Ah, yes, there it is. I thought we had one more. Okay. So I'm going to actually rejigger the order here. Because I've got so much wood that this should be fine. Let's go ahead and lower our hostility just a tad, just a little bit, while we're getting everybody housed. And of course, once those are built, um, the hostility of the forest is going to go down by, what, 80? another 80, which will help. Feeling pretty good about this run. Got food. I mean, the queen's mad, but, like, we're kind of scaling. Now we undo this. Trade routes. Meat. I will sell meat all day. Sell some tools too while we're at it. 
Uh, and hey, let's just get bonus. Ooh. Lower hostility. But, you know what? If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to have to catch that in the next video. Because that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I very much appreciate you sticking around, giving me your attention. And I've got other things you can be doing. If you want to give me a little bit more help, you can hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about me, maybe leave a comment. That'd be wonderful. My schedule is Monday and Thursday nights, twitch.tv slash dreadcanary if you want to ever catch me live. And if that changes, I will announce it on Twitter, at ghostfinchmedia. Now, I should say uh, that around this time, I'm going to start announcing that uh, in June... There's going to be about a three-week period where I'm not going to be able to stream uh, my the get the conference that I'm putting on. I, I'm going to have to travel for. Uh, I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be doing all kinds of logistical work. I'm going to be in a group house for a bit. Uh, so that just basically for most of June, I'm not going to be able to stream. But that'll be announced. Uh, thank you all for being here. I hope you're having a great day. I'd love to see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.